Talk about clothes, talk about your brand, talk about fashion style. Do you see your influence? Like, you know, as far as I would say in seven cities or let's say Virginia, or we can even say the world. Could you see your influence? Cause actually I seen somebody with the double stitched idea, but I know it came where it came from. There's a lot of things, but um, I'm definitely a bit influenced, you know what I'm saying? Like respectfully, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I ain't humble about it at all at this point, you know what I'm saying? Like just for niggas to know, like I am an influence. Niggas don't reckon, you know what I'm saying? Want to pay homage or credit, but it don't even matter. But with the fashion shit, you gonna see a lot of people copy the ideas. I learned not to even, you can't even be mad about it because that's just gonna happen. You feel right. me? Like it's just pretty point blank. If you want to be a trendsetter, how the fuck you can you really get mad if somebody follow? The trend, that's what they post to do. Right. So if I'm setting trends and niggas following me, you don't got to fucking acknowledge it. But if you're clearly doing everything that I'm doing and I'm sitting here saying it, nigga, I set a fucking wave and you following my goddamn blueprint. Like, you know, it is what it is. But I don't really be throwing it in niggas' faces like I could for real, for real. I just be sitting back, you know what I'm saying? It's cool, but. Right. Yeah. Now you know you get a lot. Of, you get a lot of likes and comments and shit when you posting outfits and you know shit you do. You get that same love when you out. Like how is it being Ray Hooks Paladori CEO when you out now? Like believe it or not, and I'm still trying to believe it because you know it's happening slowly. Even in my own city, like when I be out, people really do ask to take pictures and stuff with me when they see me in public. Young boy just did it the other day about a week ago. And I was buying my daughter some school stuff. That's, does it shock you? Yeah, that shit shocked the hell out of me because I be minding my own business. You feel me? My right. boy just come out of the blue like, oh, my son want to take a picture. I'm like, oh, why? I try to keep it cordial too because I be on, you feel me? It's like, like they seen a star though, you know? Yeah, like that shit make me feel good though. Like motherfuckers really fuck me. Like they see that I'm going to be somebody because I don't really feel like I'm really too much. No, but like I'm somebody, but... Not who I know I can be, you feel right. me? Like, so that shit made me feel good. Like, you see that shit in me too. Like, right. that shit be motivation. You right. feel me? Um, you know, something dope I seen you do, and we're gonna get into the, you know, you having owning two stores. But um, something dope I seen you do, and people might not have seen it how I see it from my, my lens, and, and that's fine. But like, man, you, you, you gave a promotion. Oh yeah. You know, you got your own store. You gave a hard work of promotion. That was that was dope for me to see because it showed another black person independently giving another black person their flowers for being a hard worker. Damn right. That and you know, just not dog, just man. valuing them and valuing loyalty. So that was dope to see you do. So I you know, respected doing that for doing yeah, I had it. to um, you know, publicly give a promotion for, you know, Really, you know, being the impact on Polydor behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's on the scene. If you go to the store, you see her, like, she in there working every day, you feel me? Like, that's my motherfucking dog. And she definitely got down, you know, been helping with the brand in a major way. Like, you know what I'm saying? She been there for a year and counting, like, but I've been knowing her for over, like, 13 years, like. Right. And it's, history. it's hard like, trusting like, people with your business, it's, it's, man, it's, and loyalty. Like, so like, people don't understand, you know, that don't do business really why that was a, such a big moment. Because it's showing that sign of loyalty. Like, yeah, right, they been riding with you. trust somebody with your business, with your money, all that type of shit. But me and my nigga, we already been through shit like that in the streets with together. You know what I'm saying? As far as business, money. So it was just like, you know, that shit just came secondhand. Like, shit, if I can do something, you know what I'm saying? Try to put a nigga on in some bad shit. I can goddamn put a motherfucker on in some real life business shit. Like, we leveling up. Like, right. that shit was, you know, in the past, that shit helped niggas get where they at, but that shit ain't what's going on. Right. <clears throat> Man, some time had passed since our last interview. We didn't get to talk about the first one, but your second one. You're in your second store. It's currently in, you know, MacArthur Mall. That's in what, Norfolk, right? No, it's a military circle. Military circle? Yeah. Okay. My bad. So, what was that like? 
you did an unveiling of the first one, you know, you cut the ribbon. Then you double back with another one. It's like you don't stop. You just coming back with them. Actually, I had did a grand open on the second one first because I opened the first one in the pandemic. And okay. I couldn't even have a grand opening because of the COVID. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I see it was booming out of my store or whatever. I never got a chance to have a grand opening. So I just doubled back, reopened the second, the first store, and I had a grand opening for that one too. So right. that shit felt good though, man. Like, Polydor definitely got down. We leveling up, man. This shit going to a whole nother level. Like, for me to see the growth, you know, from my eyes, that was fast. And to see, you yeah, know. Yeah, I was going to say that shit too. Like, that shit definitely with some work behind the scenes. Like it did happen fast, but it ain't right, as, as fast always. As people thought. Though, right. Either. Like that shit had its times when it was like up and down. Like shit, I ain't even know if I was gonna keep going with the shit. Like you know, if it won't for my wife, like you know, my girl at the time, like talking shit in my ear, like you know, just keep going with it. You know what I'm saying? Just motivating me, giving me that push, like. I know if I wouldn't be here, you feel me? Right. Like, real shit, though. Right.